Alrighty, in this video, I need a drill press vise. I bought a little cheap drill press vise ages and ages ago, and I was using it for something else, and I was cranking down on it and snapped it apart. It's just made a cast. So I've got a record sash clamp here, quite solid, very good condition. Well, well used condition, but running faultless. So I was thinking if I chopped it back here and maybe just welded this stuff together to keep it in place. I could maybe use some of the bar to weld underneath and attach it all to make a base that will sit up on this. Up on here for the drill press. So I don't need a very big one, it doesn't need to be very high, but so that's what we're gonna try and do. So we're taking this, I'm gonna chop it here because this is gonna be the part we'll just make up a base out of this stuff. So we'll just measure it up and get it chopped up into pieces back soon. Right, well we've killed, absolutely killed the battery on the grinder. Oh, it's green already. So not bad, very quick. Right, we've got this piece. We've got a couple of equal pieces here. So the holes I'm trying to get to align with the table the little slots in the table so if I keep everything centered it should be good if we maybe just weld them like that or something like that I was thinking we'd get away with just welding the bottom straight on but now I'm realizing that the piece in the middle it's not really stuck actually Ooh, I think that might actually do it so let's get some welding done yeah that's it and we did have a couple of extra pieces so if need be i can weld them to the front like jaws so i can hold longer things straight but it's only for holding small stuff yeehaw right let's get on with it and while i'm at it this is the welder i'm using it must be like the cheapest mig welder because it's got a gun and stuff comes out the end of it like a licky sticky squirty gluey gun but just for metal now this is bottom end machine not even designed to be welding that thickness never mind that kind of metal so i'm not expecting great results but as always it comes through and it seems to licky stick everything together properly so yeah, it's not going to make you some glorious bead welds that look like stacked coins. No, it's not. Absolutely not. But is it going to lick it and stick it together? Yeah, it is. So let's do it. Cheapest chips. Under £100. <laughs> Okay, we're back now we've cleaned up it's still a bit toasty so i'll pick it up with my mittens with my mittens but yes we've got it all cleaned up both sides which technically i should have done that before i welded it but i did clean the parts up that i welded yeah so i don't want to hear no rubbish about the icky sticky welder gun the hundred pound fake mig welder because this is solid stainless steel and it shouldn't be able to weld this yet it's on there absolutely fine for what I need it for. Not only that, I've just put my welder away. 
whoops, and realised still got to weld that to that. So clumsy. Got to go do it again. Back soon. Okay, so at this point we'll just wait to add some of this plate up on these faces of these things. I've got the magnet holding one on at this side. I'll give it a quick weld on and I'll save you the eye pain from the flashing, but be rest assured it's this little fella here that's doing it. See you when it's done. Right, the flaps are on, Captain. We have now one working Frankenstein drill press vise. Gotta love it. What with the licky sticky hot melt glue gun? Which I'm telling you guys, if if you can't weld or you're not a welder but you'd like to weld, get one of those. I think they're about eighty pounds in the UK, so about under a hundred bucks. Yeah, it's a crappy weld. It's not going to look pretty. I mean, look at the welds. You see that? Big Rab taught me to weld like that. That's the truth, Jordan. Don't let him tell you otherwise. He says this is the way you do it. <laughs> but yeah, it sticks. It attaches. It will do the job. So now we have it on the drill press. The holes line up over here and here. Well, that's not lining up. There you go. There and there to hold it on. And this was just support to balance. Looks like we don't really need these bits, so I'll either chop them off and leave them off. Or maybe just attach some fins further up coming out just for extra support, but nah, it's fine enough for me. No need to go overboard. Anyway, thanks a lot guys. This one's been a DIY scrap make it yourself drill press vice thingy the jig. Anyway, that's me. Give me one of them. Bye for now.